Ajit Shivivani here, and we're at the headquarters of MC10, which we first heard about at TED Med in April, where we met uh, David Ick, and he gave a great speech. So we're fortunate to be here with Kevin Dowling, of, uh, he's the uh, VP of Research and Development, YY Shu, who is a senior scientist, and Bruce Gafari, who's co-founder and director of medical development at MC10. So they're going to tell us a little bit, little bit about what they do and show us some demos. So fundamentally what we've tried to do in our doing is release electronics from the wafer. Uh, really, uh, most of the electronics in our iPhones and our televisions and everything else we use today uh, is predicated on taking a wafer, doing the processing on it, slicing it up, and putting a small die, uh, typically one millimeter square or less, into leaf frames and into packages and then onto boards. The issue with that is that you have a very small amount of silicon but a very large amount of protection around it. Uh, we've flipped that idea on its head, and in fact, instead of using the wafer, we're releasing the electronics from the wafer, and then packaging in a completely different way to allow it to be conformal, to go on the skin or in the body, uh, and you'll hear a little bit more about that in a second. But fundamentally, we start with the standard silicon processing uh, fabrication technology that's used today. We have special geometries, special recipes, a transfer process, but all of that comes together, it allows us to create very thin and very conformal electronics, which really has not been possible uh, before. Cool. Uh, and it also in the in the inorganic realm as opposed to the organic realm. Uh, so the performance is very high that we've come to expect of our electronics today. Yeah. Very cool. And so you have um, you know I think you guys were responsible for one application of this, which is the, the catheter and medical development side. Would you mind sharing a little bit about that? Sure, sure. I can talk about the catheter applications that, that we have ongoing. Um, so as Kevin just described, we take uh, electronics off of uh, a rigid substrate and then deposit them um, onto very flexible and stretchable substrates. And a key example of that is uh, balloon catheters that are used for different type of interventional as well as uh, minimally invasive procedures. Um, we focus our efforts on building devices that address um, cardiac uh, diseases um, and building sensors on the balloons allows us to go into the heart and into your vessels and be able to map activity that you normally couldn't um, as, a, as a result of having sensors on board the, the, the balloon catheters you're able to see things that you weren't able to see before. And so uh, one of the key advantages of that is you can marry different types of technologies on board a single device, um, thereby lowering the cost of devices and hopefully uh, improving procedure times. And that's uh, where we're focused now, doing a lot of uh, preclinical animal studies and pushing the technology forward with partners like Mass General Hospital, who are uh, there testing a lot of our devices um, in animal models. Okay, very cool. And so you have uh, three different confirmations of these balloons, yep. right? And yeah, so. And um, you also have the heart model, which we could yep, look yeah. at and how it'll. Yeah, so you can get a sense of the different types of devices that are, are being built at the moment. And uh, it's important to note that not only do you have balloons that are being built, but you can have uh, structures built onto sheets as well, as, right. as you see here. So these are uh, an array of uh, temperature sensors that are built um, on a silicone elastomer material that's flexible. If you touch it, you'll see that you can bend it and fold it, and this could be uh, deployed on the surface of the heart to do different type of monitoring as well. Um, the, the goal here is that we're uh, establishing a platform that's agnostic of the substrate, so you can develop um, devices that are balloon-based or sheet-based. Um, that's not uh, a constraint on our part, and so uh, we're able to um, build sheets as well as balloons as a result of that. Right, and that's an example of it on, on the actual, on the surface of the ventricle? Right, that's correct. You can see uh, some examples just showing the technology um, deployed on a rough contour surface like the heart, and this model is supposed to demonstrate that capability. Okay, and so these are just demos, but I think, why you were going to show us a electrical setup with the demo too, yeah. or talk about this first. So, uh, I think... I think if you look at more detail in this kind of structure mapping on the heart here, you see a lot of small serpentine. And this small serpentine actually act as the spring, spring-like interconnection. So basically what we do here in MC10 is to, to uh, use finite element simulation to figure out and optimize the, uh, the structure design of each serpentine. 
and then we put those the uh, similar this optimized design, the product on this kind of small structure, and then allows us to have the whole device uh, being stretchable and being flexible. So this is one of the examples that uh, we put the uh, the sermenty in between those two pads. This pad we can put any kind of sensor device in this small area here, and then then we connect to uh, LED right here. And as you can see here, you can just stretch it. Yeah, very cool. And you can do the fatigue. And we we use this the structure design and use this type of technology applied on on the balloon and also on the sensor making on the heart here. This very is cool. the our approach. Very cool. And so these are some really cool applications for for just one specific um, field of medicine. But clearly, you're, you guys are thinking about more applications beyond medicine, or within medicine and beyond. That's right. And we're, we're looking at things like energy delivery and storage. We can take solar cells, which are typically the crystalline silicon systems are the highest efficiencies, but they're large and rigid, uh, very brittle. <coughs> we can take those systems, divide them up, and create fabrics that use them and generate very high efficiency uh, electrical energy for a given area. Uh, we've had a wide variety of inquiries about using these in different sensing applications, monitoring applications, uh, on the skin applications where they're eventually they're almost undetectable in terms of uh, electronics on the body. Uh, I can put our body patches on and go through TSA at the airport and I never notice. Oh, very cool. <laughs> very cool. I mean, Kevin and Ruse, and by the way, this is super cool stuff and we had met look forward to hearing more and continuing to cover what you guys are doing here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Awesome.